Hi, Martin here. Today I want to build a couple cylinder head stands. I got some projects lined up and I could really use a set of stands to make the job a whole lot easier. Like if you wanted to CC your heads or do some porting and polishing or maybe you're just lapping the valves or whatever you're going to do with a set of cylinder heads, these stands will come in very handy. Now I looked them up and the ones that I like are around $65 a set. Uh, that seems like a bit much for something I can make really inexpensive and you can make as well. Now I got everything in my shop that I need to make this. I'm going to use some rubber hose. I found some rounded steel rods and then I got a, a few pieces of flat iron. Uh, the ones I have, I'm going to end up welding together because they aren't as wide as I'd like them to be, but uh, it, no big deal. And you can get all this stuff, let's say at your Lowe's or Home Depot, they sell small sections of steel rod and flat iron in like two and four foot sections. Alright, well, let's get started. Alright, the first thing we're going to start with is making the base for each stand. Now, what I got here is three-eighths of an inch thick metal. It's half inch wide. Now, the base, I want it to be three inches wide, so I'm going to end up having to weld this together. Now, if I'm you, I'd you know, be going down to Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever, getting a three-inch wide piece. And that way, you only got to cut out two pieces, and you're done with that part of it. Now, I'm going to end up having to weld these together to make this work. Now, it doesn't need to be three-eighths of an inch thick. That's a little overkill. Uh, 3 sixteenths would be really plenty for this, but this ought to work just fine. All right, so get two uh, bases cut out. I'm going to cut them out at 12 inches long. All right, now it comes time to cut the rods. What we're trying to do is make this X pattern where you're going to set the cylinder head in here and you can set it in different angles. Now, what I'm using, these are made for uh, rod iron fences and gates. These are like little uh, pickets or whatever you want to call them. And this is left over from a buddy's welding shop, EPI Welding, here in Las Vegas. And this is just stuff that he'd thrown out and I've made use of it. Now, I got four of them, and I'm able to cut them to 15 and a half inches long. That's the length I'm going with. Now, we need to cut a 45 degree angle on each, on one end. The other end is just cut off nice and square like that. Okay, using a speed square, you can just lay it up against this rod, and I want to cut it at a 45. So this gives us our 45. Cut right there. Okay, what I got here is one of these burger um, magnets. 
These are great for welding and set holding things in place. That's got an, this one particular one has an on off switch to it. Comes in very handy. Uh, now, placing this in the middle of our workpiece here, that, throw the magnet on, it's nice and secure on there. Now, I, I take one of the rods, there we go, and the other one. right there. Now that's holding it for you. We can go ahead and weld them here at these three points and you got most of the work done right there. Hopefully I can get this out of here. Alright, now with it tacked in place, I'm going to go ahead and weld it up solid. It up. I'm going to go ahead and get the other one welded up, and then we got one more step to do. I went ahead and shot some paint on them, and uh, the one other thing we got left to do, we need to protect the cylinder heads that we're putting on here. So, finding the appropriate rubber hose or a vinyl hose, and what I did is that um, I couldn't find one that would just literally slide on here because these rods happen to be a kind of an odd size. They're not quite 9 sixteenths and you know uh, there isn't a hose with an inside diameter that you can easily find. So what I did is I just grabbed some uh, hose that I had that fits on here really kind of snug. So I had to cut it open with a razor knife so you can get it on here. Just like that. Now what I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do is uh, take some RTV that I got laying around and I'm gonna put it underneath here and then slide it on. And that way it'll cement itself on here and it's not gonna roll or anything like that. Right now it does feel pretty snug. I could probably just leave it the way it is but I'm going to throw a little RTV underneath there to secure it. But I'm going to throw a little RTV to it. I've been cutting it just a little bit longer in the actual because I don't want even this to hit the cylinder head you know just in case it ain't gonna hurt to have it a little bit long All right, all that's left is testing it. Now, 
with this stand you can put it in multiple angles let's say you wanted to just work right here on whatever on top of the cylinder head uh, valve seats springs stuff like that here you go or you can just turn it 90 and work them up here turn it this way maybe you're going to do some porting and polishing on the exhaust flip it around you could do the same thing with the uh, intake and here I got in a position to work on the intake ports you could also just move it a little bit like that almost uh, level but uh, to where you can get to the intake ports a lot easier and of course you can move these stands left to right if let's say this one right here was blocking your way of working on a port or something like that and then the reason I initially built this is I want to CC the heads I want to find out what the volume is of each combustion chamber I also want to find out on the uh, exhaust and intake ports as well and then compare them to a different set of heads I think that turned out really well and it was really easy to make I mean I made this in no time at all and if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up on the video and if you've never subscribed to me before please hit that subscribe button right down there and the little bell symbol right next to it and I'm also an Amazon affiliate please check the description down below where you'll find tools and products that are used in the video and you can do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links and then the channel earns a small commission I really appreciate that. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you on the next one. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Check out the links down below in the description. And where? And I'm an Amazon affiliate. Check out the links in the description down below where you can... What the hell? And I'm an Amazon affiliate. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate, so please check out the d down. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Please check out the. D Damn it! <laughs> and I'm also an Am. <clears throat> and I'm also. <clears throat> Damn it! <laughs>